Hello, I just wanted to make one update here. It's uh, something that would be very important for anybody who's considering building an attached greenhouse or trying to run a greenhouse through the winter and through the summer. And here is the evidence to support what it is that I'm gonna tell you. First off, planting them by seed, wonderful. These things, we've been picking them, using them in green drinks, wonderful. Last year, I pulled them out, plants, out of my greenhouse and put them in here and they transplanted wonderfully. But what I've been finding this year is we've had... Out of garden, right? You said out of greenhouse too, it's greenhouse. So out of our outside greenhouse, in the fall, pulling it out of the outside greenhouse, digging it up and putting it into these, they did really good last year. And the same as this year, they did really good but we live in our location it's rarely cloudy and it's only for a day or two but we've had two days of clouds what happens is when you transfer them you transfer the aphids you transfer all bugs that are in the outside greenhouse into this greenhouse from seed there's nothing and they just do wonderfully the bugs and pests are what's going to kill your garden off and waste time for you and who wants wasted time i want to plant it and do nothing to it but just pick. I want to show you here. Right in here you can see these were pulled out of the greenhouse. Now I have been harvesting them. But what happens is, is when the sun hits these aphids, it kills them all off as long as you put them in the sun. I don't know if you can see yeah, you these can aphids see. in here. Now in a week, most likely this sun will come back and kill it down. But the problem we have is, is your, your plants are unhealthy when you get aphid growth. And the aphid growth came from uh, not perfect sunny skies. It was cloudy and overcast. Plants do wonderfully. All of our seeded plants do wonderfully. But the aphids start to thrive when the sun stops hitting them in these type of a greenhouse. So I am outing with all of this. Yes, I could keep these things going, but I don't want these aphids to transfer over into my good side, and I have enough of the others. So if I were to advise anybody from here on out, don't pull anything in from the outside garden into your winter greenhouse like this, unless you want to deal with aphids and problems that are associated with it. If you have any kind of, this is a very sunny spot and we really don't have the problems. The aphids did come with the plants. You could see them, but as soon as the sun hit them after a week or so, it killed off the aphids, but they were down into the crooks and crannies where it's shaded, and they'll come back out like a fury as soon as it gets overcast. Who wants that? You can have twice the growth when they're not attacking the root of your systems, that, of your plants. So plant them from, uh, from scratch in the fall, and I promise you will have better results. Yeah, Let it go through a summer seeds. Mm -hmm. from, with seeds. Plant it with mm -hmm. fresh seeds in the fall in these grow boxes, and you won't have problems with any of the, the bugs. You transfer them in, you're just introducing problems. And if you live in the perfect environment, usually you could kind of fight your way through that. I'm not into that. I'm into maintenance free. I want it running itself with no effort and this is effort and I don't like it. And I see it all the way along here. Um, yep, and look at this right here. This beet was one right here that did not have one bit of aphids on it. I planted this seed. It actually, this beet um, was planted and I just let it grow. It just automatically grew from last year's beets that were in here and some of them seeded and dropped into the gr ground and I saw it and I thought, ah, I'll just let it grow. So here's a beet from this fall's planting, but you can see all the little aphids in here that transferred from my greenhouse, my outside garden, into here. And because of the shade that we've had and the cloudy coverage, they just went crazy in here. Now, yes, this plant will still survive, but it has drastically, uh, its growth has been, it, it, it will be, it's affected, it's fighting off the aphids, and you won't get good, healthy growth. It'll still grow, and you can deal with these aphids, because it's getting cleaned out in a couple of months anyway. But if I were to do it again, no more bringing in the greenhouse. Last year, I did it with the peppers. 
they did wonderful. As long as I pulled them out of the shade. When they were in the shade, they were infested with the aphids from the outside garden. And it's a good way to transfer them, but you will introduce aphids into your in-outside greenhouse. And my peppers, when I re-put them back outside,